Hey guys, welcome into today's video. I'm really excited to do today's video. I placed an order with Violet Gray and the box came today, so I immediately wanted to run upstairs and start filming. I also picked up some items from Neiman Marcus on my birthday, which was last Sunday. And um, yeah, I got some cool and interesting things. Like I definitely got things that I probably wouldn't have purchased online if I was just kind of like screen shopping. But you know, when you're in person and how beautiful the things look, you're like, ooh, I'll take one of those and one of those. So today is going to be a luxury makeup haul. Plus I wanna try this stuff on on camera for the first time. I haven't even opened this box yet. And all of this makeup literally came from the store in this bag. I haven't even opened the boxes and looked at the products except one there was a Chanel lipstick that definitely came out right away and was on the first night and I love it. I'm not convinced I know what order I wanna do this in. I feel like I wanna open and look at everything and then I wanna put it on. Yeah, that's what I think we'll do. I don't have like a new foundation that I purchased or eyebrow product that I purchased, but I also have my like giant glass of pineapple wine, which is like a wine that I've just been loving lately. I actually bought it totally on a whim at the grocery store at Publix and then I liked it so much, I was like, mm, all right, I'm gonna send my husband back for some more, so he did, so this is a new bottle. All right, let's get into this box because I totally forgot what I ordered. I'm so excited. This is what the inside looks like, and it comes with a little card on the inside which says Violet Gray Melrose Place. This is fancy, this is my receipt. <laughs> the receipt even comes like in a little card with like embossed lettering, That's that's interesting. All right, I'm gonna put that back there. Okay, so here is what I ordered from Violet Gray. I ordered some Tom Ford things. I ordered one Victoria Beckham item, one from Westman Atelier. I picked up one thing from Le Bouche Rouge and then one thing from Cure Weiss. So let's open all of these. The first one that I got here, I'll just go over the Tom Ford ones first. This is an eye color quad and it's in the shade 04 Honeymoon or Color Story. I don't think these were, yeah, these were just the eyeshadow quads. This is not the cream one which I really do want to try. It just comes in this suede sleeve. Look how clean it looks before it gets fingerprints on it. And that is the color story there. It just looked so beautiful and sophisticated. I have tried a Tom Ford. I have one other eyeshadow quad and it's more like of a powdery formula. This actually looks baked. So I'm super excited to try this. I, but these just look different in comparison to my other Tom Ford quad. Other Tom Ford products that I picked up was the Soleil Glow Bronzer. And this one's in the shade 02 Terra. It comes in a white suede sleeve. Look how sleek this packaging is. And there is the bronzer. It is just, oh, this is sleek, I tell you. You are paying for the packaging for sure. So that looks absolutely beautiful. I also have a bronzing brick from Victoria Beckham. When they call this a brick, this thing feels like it weighs an entire pound. It is very heavy. So it's the matte bronzing brick. It's warm and contour. And on the side it says, luxury performance, clean beauty. This is massive. Like this is so heavy. And there is the bronzing brick there. It, this packaging is so luxe super duper heavy. So I think we'll actually try both of these, why not? I guess I picked up three bronzers. So it, <laughs> I also got a Beauty Butter Powder Bronzer from Westman Atelier. This one is in Coupe de Soleil and it comes in just like a little pouch with drawstrings. It's pink, it's really cute. It's not at all what I thought it was going to be. I think I thought it was like much larger in the photos when I was looking online, but this is, this is quite small in comparison um, to my hand, but this is really, really weighted. It feels like a, a tiny little rock. And there is the inside bronzer. This actually looked super dark in the photos online, but it's not. Like this is a really, really good kind of neutral tone, maybe a hint of warmth. And I was really worried because it was the lightest shade, but it looked super warm, but I don't think it's going to be. So I'm gonna try and use all three of them. Why, why the heck not? All right, the next one that I have is from La Bouche Rouge. This one was a highlighter. So here is the outer carton. It has the LBR raised and you just like, I would guess kind of push this out. I don't even wanna try and pronounce the shade. It looks like La En Luminaire is what it looks like. So here is the carton, very pretty. 
and then you pull this out and there is the highlighter. These are ref refillable, so the highlighter does just come out. You see the LBR imprinted on the highlighter. It looks very beautiful, so excited to try that. And then the final thing that I got from Violet Gray was a cream blush from Cure Weiss. I'm pretty sure that the way that they sell these is just the case, and then you have to purchase the refill, so that is what I did. I didn't wanna just get the refill or the cream product. I also wanted to get the case permanently in case I liked it, and then I could just refill it by popping it out. So there is the packaging. It kinda just opens like this. Everything is so gorgeous without fingerprints so here is the packaging this is another one that's really really weighted it honestly feels like they have weights in the bottom um, of these components so it just kind of like slides like that it's very very like sturdy like it snaps into place and then here is what the refill looks like and this one is in the shade inner glow it is not a lot of product but the shade looks gorgeous maybe this will be satisfying so i'm just going to pop that into place and it's done. It says cream blush, cream glow, flush and glow. Okay, well it definitely looks like a more, I don't know, sheer, like it would just give you like a flush. It doesn't look like it has a whole lot of pigment to it. So I think it's gonna be more of a sheer formula, but yeah, this is super weighted. Okay, let's move on into the stuff that I purchased from Neiman Marcus and we'll go through those as well. Okay, so the brands that I purchased, I got three things from Chanel, I got one thing from YSL, and I got two things from Chantecai. And I also missed something from the stuff that I hauled from Violet Gray. I had something else from Surratt that I picked up, and this is the Prismatic Eyes, and I believe this is just a single shadow. Very beautiful, like multi-dimensional, multi-chrome packaging. It's another one that twists open. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful that looks. It also is like multi-dimensional. It's like orange with like some shift to it. Oh, that looks beautiful. I guess this one is in the shade Neutral Eyes. And so this is actually a duo. So the upper is cream and the um, lower is powder, which is what I just showed you. But then the top twists off. So here is the cream base. Now let's move on to the stuff that I hold with Neiman Marcus. So the first one that I picked up was the YSL Rouge Volupti Shine Oil and Stick. Here's the packaging. This one is in the shade Rose New. These are some of my favorite. I love these. I have one that I believe was like a limited edition packaging from two years ago, and it's one of my favorite formulas. It's so hydrating, it feels so good. The smell, they, it smells exactly the same. It's like a, like a pina colada. It's just, oh, I don't know. So it's like a red tone, but it's a really sheer color usually. So it's just like a really slight pigment, but I'm excited to try this. I actually think I picked that one up um, online at Sephora. Okay, so now let's move into the Chanel stuff. I picked up a blush number 24. It's the Healthy Glow Sheer Color Stick. Yeah, this just looked really good. I don't think I've ever seen this before, and I saw it in Neiman Marcus on display and I was like oh yeah like look at it it looks like a it actually looks like it's been damaged a little bit but it looked like a cream to powder formula and it had like a little bit of sheen to it it looked so gorgeous these tiny little sparkles in it I love the shade oh I'm so excited and then I picked up a quad from Chanel a multi-effect quadra eyeshadow this one um, is in 274 code elegantes here is the quad i thought this looked so beautiful and elegant when it was on display these look like they're a cream formula but i will definitely find out once i start swatching them it also comes with this velvet sleeve that i will keep it in the last thing that i picked up from chanel was um, just a lip product from them this also looked really good when on display and this one is the Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue Gloss. So on one side, it comes with like a tinted liquid lip. And on the other side is a gloss. Very similar to, you know, the drugstore NYX where they, they came out with this. I think Revlon has them. Maybelline may have some. I tried this formula. It's fantastic. I was such a huge fan. I can see why. Like those are really popular because I have heard of those before. And then the final two things from Chantecaille, um, one of them is one of their new holiday releases. This is from the Lotus Collection. This is the Lotus Blossom Radiant Blush and it has like a Lotus, I think like this 
imprint of kind of like the side of a lotus right here for for holiday um, 2022 so i do believe they may be limited edition and when these came out they looked so beautiful in the promo photos but i, I had convinced myself that i wasn't going to pick them up and i only have one other shantikai product in my collection so i thought i really don't need to add them but when i was in store of course you know you change your mind you start looking at them and you're like wow those are really beautiful i think i have swatched this already so here's the inside of it this one i probably did take out it was my birthday and I had been drinking. So I, I do think that I swatched this one. And if I'm correct, this just comes in one shade, but this is called the Blush Lumiere Lotus. I did pick up another one of the luminescent eye shades from Chantecai. This one was the zebra one and I have the cheetah one already. They're so good. I love these. It's like a baked gelée formula. They're super creamy, really pigmented. They're beautiful when they go on. True luxury quality single shadows. Here's the outer packaging. And the other color I have is pretty champagne, and this one is more pink. It almost looks like it kind of has a shift to it. I may have swatched this as well. So, so let's just get to playing with these. I just put my eyebrows on. I just use my Benefit Precisely My Brow. So I'm gonna go in with foundation now. I'm gonna use my YSL, the Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow. This one is a little bit too deep of a shade for me, but I think if I kind of drag it down, then I can kind of blend it in a little bit. I don't have like a summer and winter shade. I'm all one shade. I wear a lot of sunscreen. I try to stay out of the sun as much as possible. So I don't tend to like have more color at different times of year. I'm usually one shade all year round. I think this is a really good foundation. This is actually one of my favorite like high-end foundations. I do have one that's very similar that is from Estee Lauder that comes in very similar packaging to this, but I actually like the YSL a little bit more. It's actually a lighter formula than the one from Estee Lauder. The Estee Lauder one is the Futurist Hydra Rescue. The YSL does have a pretty strong fragrance, however. If you're not into that sort of thing, I would say the Estee Lauder doesn't have a lot of fragrance, and so it's a really good alternative to this. I just really love the way that this YSL looks on the skin. I'm gonna go in with my Dior Backstage. This is the Flash Perfector Concealer. It has a brush tip applicator. Dior concealers and base products are honestly some of my absolute favorite. I'm such a fan of Dior base products. I think it's a medium coverage concealer, but it's very lightweight. So is the other Dior concealer. The um, Dior Forever Skin Correct, I think has a little bit more coverage than this one, but they're both beautiful. Like I get just the right amount of coverage from them and they never crease on me. So I'm a huge fan, high recommendation for the Dior base products. In fact, I'm gonna go in with my Dior Backstage Powder No Powder to set my face. So if you've never tried this, 10 out of 10. I think I wanna throw the YSL lip product on while we do the rest of the makeup. Oh gosh. It's one of the creamiest formulas. Like I said, this is a product that I have tried before. It just gives like a really sheer wash of color, but it's just really, really hydrating. It's so like comfortable and soft and smooth on the lips that it makes you wanna like sit there and do that over and over again because it's just so comfortable. But it, yeah, it's just a very sheer wash of color. It's one of those things that you could really just kind of throw in your purse. And if you just need a little flush of color, super great to grab this extra, extra hydrating. I love this. Like I said, I have repurchased it. I liked it that much. So we'll just leave that to sit while we do some of the other makeup. I, I definitely want to use the Chanel again today. Since this is a like contour and a bronzer from Victoria Beckham, I think we'll go in with this first. The brick does appear to have a like rem like a side here where you can pop this out to replace the product so that you can reuse the case. I think I'm gonna go into this lighter shade and maybe see if it shows. It looks like a pretty light color. I don't really know what I'm gonna get out of this. No, it's showing. It's a pretty hard pressed formula. This is the lighter shade. This is the one that looks a little bit more like a bronzer. I think that this product is versatile enough that you could kind of use it for anything, but I am getting pigmentation out of the lighter shade, which is quite surprising. So I think we'll kind of like contour with this just a little bit. I know this is kind of a big brush, but 
it was a little bit more of a hard pressed formula. Like it wasn't very powdery. It seemed to take a lot for me to rub my finger in it to get a swatch out, but I think it's very beautiful packaging and like super luxe and super sturdy. It seems like that shade was actually quite pigmented and it looks really nice on the cheeks, but I do want to use the other two bronzers. So I think we'll go into the Tom Ford on one side. This Tom Ford almost feels like a cream to powder formula and there is the swatch i'm gonna use the other side of my brush i'm actually getting a lot of powder oh my gosh okay i accidentally did both sides but i don't care i'm gonna go over it with the other bronzer that i have from westman atelier because i think this is a pretty light shade but it's gorgeous look it just kind of looks airbrushed that's beautiful. Like, that's great for my skin tone. This seems like a very buildable product. Like you can go in with a really light hand, but you can also build it up. And it's the one that kind of seems to like airbrush a little bit, like almost buff out some of the texture on your cheeks. I love this. I am gonna go in with the Westman Atelier one as well and just kind of deepen up the bronzer a bit. I can't not try these. So I'm gonna try and try as many of these as I can. Here's the swatch on the Westman Atelier. It's definitely got a little bit of warmth to it and it's a little bit deeper of a shade than the Tom Ford one. Just going back in with the same brush and deepening this up. Mm. I'm trying to buff some of this out um, it's really pigmented. It's not like the Tom Ford. Tom Ford is more buildable, but this one has a lot of pigmentation right off the bat. And it is a deeper shade and does have a little bit of warmth to it. So it's beautiful. They're just very different in tone. I'm loving all of these. Okay, so there's three blushes. I think that I want to do two of the cream blushes, one on each side. And then because the Chantecai is a powder formula, I think I want to top the blushes with this. I don't think that the colors will clash. Okay, let's go into the Keir Weiss one first. This isn't an overly emollient cream formula. Like right on first swatch, it's definitely soft, but it, it takes a little bit of finessing to kind of get it to move around in the pan. So it's a little bit of a stiffer formula, but even on the swatch, I can tell that it's pretty sheer, but it has a sheen to it, like a very sophisticated sheen. So I'm just going to use a clean brush and dip it in here. I already dipped it before I kind of showed you. It's very light. It's very sophisticated. It gives just a hint of color but it has a really nice sheen to it. And it's not tacky. It dries down almost instantly. It's very nice feeling. I'm loving every one of these. All right, let's go into the stick blush from Chanel. Much more pigment to this one. So I'm gonna take another clean brush and just dip it onto the product and then dab it onto my cheeks. Now this one has quite a bit more pigment and it's a beautiful color. The sheen isn't necessarily detectable from this distance, but it just looks beautiful on the skin. Let's move into the blush from Chantecai. It's very shimmery. So it looks more like a topper. In some light, it doesn't look like it has a huge amount of base. Ooh, I think this is actually gonna be really good for putting on top of what we've already got going on. I am just gonna go into another clean um, brush and this one's just a flat kabuki brush. Oh wow This was actually a lot more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be So I feel like that was more of a topper. It has a lot of sheen to it So if that's something that you like, I think this would be nice It's just maybe not for every day like it's not satin. It's not matte. It doesn't have a huge amount of undertone to it It's more of like a shifty topper. I like it but what I think it's kind of doing is like accentuating the texture on my cheeks, which is what I find with a lot of like overly shimmery blushes or even bronzers. And so I'm getting a lot of like accentuation of the texture that I wasn't getting before I applied it. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's definitely picking up. Okay, let's move on into the La Bruge Rouge and we will put on the highlighter. There is the swatch there. It's really champagne colored but it almost seems like it has a pink shift to it. Just taking another brush and... Oh, that's very, 
Wow. Yeah, it's a good highlighter. Yeah, no glitters, just shining to the moon and back. Very, very strong highlighter. I like something that actually really stands out and really makes my cheeks pop. So I'm loving this. Move on into eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go into the Tom Ford quad first and I'm going to do one eye with the quad. I think maybe this all over the upper part of the lid, this more in the crease. I think I'll do this in the outer corner and then like deepen it up with that shade in the outer corner. There are the swatches there. I can tell that this is a powder formula. It's definitely not a cream formula. And now that I'm looking at the swatches, this one is more of a shimmery shade. These two look like satins and then this one definitely looks like a matte finish. So very nice formula on these. This is a date night eye. That's what I would call this, just a date night eye. Very sophisticated. It has a little bit of shimmer to it, a little bit of sheen. No patchiness issues, not laying strangely on top of the concealer that I kind of put over my eye. I would say just a really nice date night eye. Okay, let's take the Chantecai, the luminescent eye shade, and we'll use it on this eye for a shimmer on the lid. Here is the swatch here. I did swatch this in the store and it's beautiful. I think that I like my cheetah one a little bit better than this but these are so beautiful for baked formula they have like a good amount of pigmentation to them and they have a good sheen they're very beautiful but they're not glittery and they're not chunky they're very smooth on the eyelid i liked it way better on the swatch the swatch almost has like a purple shift to it i just don't think that's translating like onto my eye very well i just don't think this had like as much of a pop as I was kind of looking for. So I'm not sure that I actually love this shade. Okay, let's go into the Chanel quad. I'm gonna swatch this first, but these two colors here are very, very similar. Only a slight difference between these two. I think this one has a little bit more brown and this is more gold. Here's the swatches. This seems very similar to Tom Ford quad. These two shades are very shimmery. This is a satin and this looks like a matte. This one and this one felt like cream formula, cream to powder formula. They were very buttery and they felt very wet. So I think with this one, I wanna do pretty much the same thing. I'm gonna take this one here and put it all over above the crease. I'll try and kind of like go into my crease with this one and then deepen up the outer corner with this one. I think I wanna keep the lighter shade and maybe put it over the one with the Chantecaille because I'm not overly convinced that I like it that it's a wash of color instead of my lid kind of popping. While I still have the Chanel palette open, I'm gonna go back into this lighter shade here because it looks like a really pigmented, really popping shimmer shade and I'm going to apply it on top of that Chantecaille. I think that's what I wanted. I wanted something lighter on my lid because I have such hooded lids and usually when I go for a shimmer shade, it's gonna be lighter to make my lid stand out a little bit more. So I really liked that one. I would say that my Chantecaille is just too pink. Like it's too much of a dark color to go onto my lid, especially with this eye look. It just was washing like washing away. It was a wash of color, so it wasn't doing as much. Okay, let's go into the Syrah. I did swatch this cream and then I, like it's really creamy. It's very, very emollient and it's super pigmented. And then when I was wiping it off, it was staining my hand. So it has a really good lasting power, a good amount of pigmentation, but I don't think that I wanna use the cream base. I think I just wanna go into the powder shade at the bottom and go all over the lid on this eye. That felt like a creamy, creamy formula. I'm 
I'm gonna throw on some mascara. This is the Easy Lash Clean Lift Mascara from Simi Haze. This is a new release that just came to Sephora. It is like a tubing mascara, so it has a very like tubing mascara-like wand. I have been enjoying this so much, way more than I thought I would, because I'm a big critic of mascaras for the most part. And there are a lot that I don't like, but I think a lot of other people do. And I'm not a fan of like volumizing mascaras mostly. And it's about the wand too. I don't like a really big wand because I have very sensitive eyes. And so I have a hard time getting really close to my lash line with a really thick wand. I'm gonna throw on my Pillow Talk lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury. Let's do the final step, which is the Chanel Ultra Tenue Gloss. This one's in the shade Soft Rose. It's really pretty, like an everyday, can wear to work kind of color. All right, now I'm going in with the gloss. And I try to make sure to get kind of every inch because it is very tacky underneath. That's it applied. One thing that I find with this is in that like other products like this, sometimes when the gloss breaks down, the liquid lip underneath will pill up and break apart. It's very noticeable. It becomes like a lot of maintenance has to be done with it. But when it starts to break down, it breaks down evenly. It breaks down like without separating or cracking or like, you know, you have to immediately take it off once the gloss fades. It's not like that. It's super sophisticated. It wears down beautifully like you'd expect for something that costs this much. And it's transfer resistant. The color underneath is totally locked down. That's everything. <laughs> That's everything that I hauled. I got it all on my face. I feel really good about it. I'll just do like a quick final roundup. The only two products out of this whole haul that weren't my favorite were the Chantecai Luminescent Eyeshade. And that's only because I didn't love the color as much as I thought I was going to. But I might use this for above the crease. The second one was the Chantecai blush. I think it's more of a topper. I don't think it's a blush that I would wear every day by itself. It's a little bit too shimmery. And not that I don't like a shimmery blush, it just didn't have a lot of pigment like base to it. And so it was a lot of sheen is, is what was kind of translating onto the cheeks. Everything else you guys, super, super glad that I got. I had a lot of fun hauling this. I had a lot of fun playing with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you consider hitting the like button. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel and sticking around. I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. So I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.